Hello, boys and girls. My name is Atsushi, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. It looks like our uh, oxygen production system here is working out fine. So we can turn our uh, attention to other needs. For example, if we produce uh, enough oxygen with the system down there, we can disable uh, the uh, oxygen diffuser and save on algae. We might have to fall back on, on that one uh, if, for example, we run out of water down here. Um, but we will cross that bridge uh, when that happens. Then, last time, or before last time, we started to dig out the area here to uh, create an airlock. Um, we also tried to uh, get down here. Uh, did not make too much progress down here we can see uh, we are in the oil territory and there we have about three tons of oil per uh, per square so um, if we dig into that uh, it will it will spill over because down here You can see it's it's way way less. So I think uh, oil is similar to water with uh, uh, 100 uh, or uh, should say a thousand kilograms per tile. We complete more research. Uh, but uh, I think we still have something queued up. Yep. Um, we are also making a bit of progress here on this side. And maybe we should extend the ladder up here a bit. Um, and actually have another door here at the top. So that eventually we can access the uh, whole uh, power setup from the outside and don't have to go uh, in here uh, into this chlorine field or eventually um, uh, carbon dioxide filled uh, area where we cannot properly breathe. Um, so, yeah, that, that will be good eventually. And then we should also think about having a cool water tank. Um, as we will use polluted water for the cooling system or the cool water tank, um, we need to have quite a decent amount of it. We have some on this side and we have some on this side. I would guess it's, it's about equal. So, maybe let's put this up first. Um, we will have to dig that out. And 
and then we probably want to get uh, the uh, the main set up done without getting uh, too wet so let's dig over here and you can have a ladder down this side and dig out like that. And that should keep them uh, occupied for a bit. Because down here we will have various water pumps. Uh, one pump uh, for cooling the water down and all the other pumps to cool various uh, areas within our base. And we can have another duplicate, so do we have something good? Um, at this point, I think we covered all the uh, the main main traits that we uh, we want to have. So then, let's look at the negative traits to eliminate the ones we don't want. Uh, building impaired. That's that's no good. Uh, undigging is also no good. Biohazard. It's not great, but eventually they will only venture out into uh, the uh, open and uh, dangerous area um, with uh, suits on. Um, so it should not really uh, be an, uh, an issue. Um, we can distribute some more points here. So let's do that. Um, maybe carrying. Ren is our new one. So. Um, this is a good candidate for for piloting so well, let's let's go uh, in this direction first um, and Liam a bit more digging a bit more construction that's that's always good in the long run we probably do not need too many uh, that uh, really are good at digging uh, because in the later game uh, I usually tend to be stalled because things are not built and there is not that much uh, digging that needs to be done at this point we can have a look at the at the priorities um, we did that uh, a while back um, but I think um, we can have another look here um, then Camille is doctoring where is it Um, Frankie, um, farming. I think he will go that route. And here we have supplying. 
Right. That covers it, I think. And here on this side, we are almost out of water, at least of water that can be reached from the uh, pitcher pump. So there's that. Um, you can also dig out a bit more on this side and maybe have a look in that corner to see if there's something good over there. Uh, for the natural gas, gas generator, we will need uh, quite a few uh, uh, fuel tanks. Um, so I guess we will put them here on this side. Um, we can have a door here. And then a ladder here on the outside. Um, this will be such a door. Okay. Wiring is coming along. How are we looking here? We need a bit more iron, a bit more copper, uh, or I should say a bit more refined materials. Uh, because the next thing we want to build is an exo suit forge. So we can actually have uh, suits up here. Which reminds me, we will need... Um, we will need oxygen up there and we will also have uh, 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 atmosphere dock down here but I still have not figured out where I want to put it so I will put that off and the good thing uh, with uh, oxygen for the uh, atmosphere is temperature does not really matter so we can just take this this middle output here and not cool that down have the pipe going up here, then over here, that's the uh, hydrogen pipe, and then uh, another crossing here. And let's just build, build it up to, to that point. And then we shall see how to proceed next. Okay, we can also dig out here. Because then uh, down here we will have another uh, uh, floor. Yeah, they do not really like the uh, the chlorine atmosphere in here. But currently it is just as it is. Um, we have 350 kilograms of copper and 400 of iron. So I would rather create the uh, the Exosuit Forge out of uh, copper because the iron we will need to convert it to steel. 
So let's wait until we get Table salt, out of salt, we do not have another use for salt. Um, let's queue up a bit more. Problem with the rock crush is it's a tiny bit inefficient. Uh, uh, you put in 100 kilograms of, uh, of an ore. Uh, and you get uh, 50 kilograms out. So basically you you're losing 50% of, of the mass. Oh what's with the suffocating? There is enough air in our base. have not dig down here anymore neither here and then on this side there's a cold biome uh, but nothing else in it so we have to keep uh, an eye on on this pitcher pump uh, not that we uh, suddenly run out of, of water um, I mean we will have another floor on this side um, don't need that ladder anymore And then we will put the uh, the pump further down. Okay. Pipe seems almost complete, and we have uh, oxygen up to here to this bridge. When this one is built, it should flow up uh, until here, and then we can actually build the dock up above. Uh, the dock requires power, and uh, that's probably the time we will hook up uh, the uh, the power setup. Even so, at the at the current time, we only have. Uh, uh, coal um, to use for our power but seeing that we need the power uh, we should do it and we do have uh, uh, 40 something tons of coal so let's see what we get Two duplicates, uh, two seeds, um, platulant, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, thank you. Um, another cook, debit dresser decreases uh, the core, um, uh, frankly, no, not really a use for you, so. Thank you, but we will skip for now. We have our 400 kilograms of copper. So let's build this 
down here. And apparently it's it's full right. So we'll need a tiny bit of leather this side. So we are not stuck. Water level here is going down, but then after all, uh, this steam vent is finally dormant, and it's still dormant for uh, 34 cycles. Um, so at least at the moment, I'm not too too worried about uh, oxygen running out. However. Um, if we also have to supply two atmosphere suits, suit dogs with uh, oxygen, uh, this one setup might not be enough. And we always should prioritize uh, having oxygen in here. Uh, inside our base that's the most important part um, I lined that up with iron ore maybe uh, let's do uh, copper ore instead Please don't build yourself in. Do us all the favor. All right, I think we made a bit of progress. Not too much, but we are on our way. So uh, let's call it uh, for today. And. Uh, we will see what's up with this trapped duplicant at the next time. Until then, goodbye!